Hi, I'm Ken, your regular Malaysian funny man who always says can. I'm on a quest to search for secrets of turning a can into a do. As everybody's been trying out new things recently, I've decided to come up with my own talk show because can lah. For my first guest, I wanted an intellectual, strong, handsome leader to share his thoughts about turning a can into a do. So here we go. It's Stuart Milne, the CEO of HSBC Malaysia, my first ever guest of honor. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you, Ken. Thanks for having me on the show. How's it going? And how has the last few months been for you? Well, it's been a real roller coaster the last couple of months. Um, all of us are facing a truly unprecedented situation. Um, I must say, I'm just grateful that Malaysia has managed uh, the COVID situation so well. Uh, the fact that we have relatively few cases is really a testament to the fact that um, the government and people are pulling together. And that's really, really inspiring to see. In fact, together we thrive in action. Together we thrive, that's the tagline. And I, I love it because it feels like a tagline that's applicable to all Malaysians in general right now. Look at how we're varying with the COVID-19 front. I mean, from essential workers, as you said, uh, to people staying at home. Now, this is the Malaysian can-do spirit, right? Absolutely. And I've been here for two years now, and it strikes me that um, the can-do spirit is very much alive and well here in Malaysia. And we've got some great examples of can-do heroes uh, within HSBC Malaysia. People have gone above and beyond. Uh, they've moved from theory into taking action, taking responsibility, getting things done, and all with the goal of uh, serving our customers. All right. So, Stuart, tell us more on what Together We Thrive is all about and what it means to Malaysians. Well, Together We Thrive is, is really our brand identity. Um, it describes who we are. And in fact, um, it's not really anything new because our purpose as an organization, as all of our staff will know, is that we are here to help our customers achieve their hopes and dreams and realize their ambitions. That's our purpose. Now, what we're doing now is to take Together We Thrive and make it real in Malaysia by adopting the rallying cry of we can, we do. Stuart, I'm inspired already. We Can, We Do is undoubtedly an inspiring call for Malaysians to thrive. Why has HSBC decided to talk about this? Where's the connection? Well, we think that now more than ever, we need the can-do spirit. As we come back to, uh, back to work, as the economy starts to recover, we need um, the can-do spirit in Malaysia. It's going to help us to get back and our community to get back to thrive in the future. So if all of us display can-do spirit, not just in, in HSBC, but across the whole community, then I'm really confident that we can recover more quickly. Um, in fact, I should also talk about um, financial literacy, which is actually an important part of this. Something like one third of Malaysians don't feel confident about their financial literacy. And about one half of Malaysians don't have even a thousand ringgit saved away for a rainy day. All right, so financial literacy, that sounds like a big task. Like, are you going to be taking us Malaysians back to school or something? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Ken. That's not the intention. But, you know, as a bank, we have a responsibility, in fact, an obligation to uh, make sure that the community at large um, is financially literate. In the future, we're looking to wrap that up. We're going to be working with the well-known NGO uh, Teach for Malaysia to develop uh, financial literacy toolkits that parents can use to introduce the topic to their children because at the end of the day you're never too young to start to learn about financial matters. It sounds like there are some great things to come but what I want to know is what role do HSBC employees play in this and how will they showcase their can-do spirit? Well as we come back to to a more normal situation it's going to be really critical that um, each one of our staff displays that can-do spirit and takes the actions necessary to help our customers get back on their feet. And by doing so, help our community um, and also help HSBC. So each one of us has that role. And what's, what's really gratifying for me is that I know that uh, HSBC is full of people 
who are really keen to, to do exactly that. We've seen that already. And in fact, uh, in our internal communications, we've been showcasing um, a lot of our colleagues who have displayed that uh, can-do spirit in, uh, in managing through the current situation. Wow, that is amazing. Like, I look forward to the launch of We Can, We Do and everything that is to come. Well, I do too. I think it's a really exciting time. Um, I think that for each of us at HSBC, right now we have a real opportunity to add to our reputation in a way that will be felt for a decade or more. And if you think about it, it's not often in our career that we have such an opportunity. So we should all seize that and turn our cans into do's. Wow, that's very inspiring, Stuart. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in the show and thank you so much for all the insights that you've given. Ken, thank you very much. And uh, I just want to say a word to my colleagues at HSBC. I've been really humbled by uh, the resilience and the dedication of each one of you. I think you've done a fantastic, outstanding job in the service of our customers. Keep up the great work. We have a lot more challenges to face in the future, but I know that working together, we can change and we can turn our cans into do's. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Ken, for having me on the show. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stuart Milne, the CEO of HSBC Malaysia on turning a can into a do. And it starts with you. HSBC is launching We Can, We Do to help Malaysians thrive no matter the situation. As a financial institution, they are equipping communities with financial literacy and empowering thrivers to seek financial freedom. Because ultimately, we can when we do. Not bad, huh? For my first one. Hey, hey, I like it. I like it. You know what?